In fact, we made $100 just yesterday in the laundromats, which in my eyes is winning. I will take $100 for sure. What is up, everybody? I hope you guys are staying safe and staying positive during these crazy coronavirus times. I know it's tough to do so, but just try and stay positive. Now, I am back with another video for you guys about the ATM business. If you are new to the channel or you've only watched a couple of videos and you don't quite know me yet, my name is Drake Pfizer with DSF Financial, and I'm showing like-minded individuals like yourself the ATM business and how I'm making my money work for me through passive income. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that bell notification. Give me a like if you like the content. It helps more than you guys can even imagine. Now, I am living the quarantine life right now. Got a homemade haircut. Always having a five o'clock shadow, it seems. But I'm still trucking along. I'm still working, which is not a bad thing. This video here is gonna go over my ATM portfolio, how things are going, some ideas that I have, and it's honestly gonna be pretty helpful for you as well if you're looking to get into the business or you're questioning if you wanna continue. Make sure to stay tuned, okay? I say it a lot but I am an ATM owner which is crazy to think about but yes I own ATM machines automated teller machines spits out cash for the people in need and yes I own machines right now though it is pretty difficult uh, for us ATM owners just like a lot of other businesses out there I'm truly affected by this coronavirus thing but I'm still making a little bit of money which does help now some of my machines are doing decent. Um, I would not say good by any means, they're doing okay. Most of them are doing absolutely zero. A big goose egg, not a transaction in over a month now. And that is actually due to what's going on with all the businesses being shut down. Uh, some of the locations that I have just are not even open, which makes it difficult obviously to have a transaction to come through. Now, maybe you guys remember I got the new location uh, about a month and a half ago, I guess now, two months ago, man, time flies, and uh, it was the adult entertainment spot. I was super, super excited about it. I was very, very hopeful that it was going to make a lot of money, and it goes to show do not count your eggs before they've hatched because it is making zero as well. That is one location that is not making a cent and hasn't done so since the 16th of March, which is atrocious, but that's okay. That's uh, the price, unfortunately, of doing business sometimes. Sometimes you don't make a profit. The first month that we did have it, it did over 200 transactions, which is awesome. At $4.95 per transaction, over 200 transactions, that's not bad at all. Now it's making none. That's okay though, I know the future will be much better once all this craziness is over. Now it is considered a non-essential business, uh, so of course it did have to shut its doors and lock them. Now some of you guys may think that booty shaking is essential to your way of life, or gambling is essential for you to survive, but the government does not think so, so unfortunately it's shut down. Now we do have two clubs uh, that are active right now, or not now, uh, but two ATMs in clubs that are also making zero, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, they're essentially just sitting there as very, very big, heavy paperweights. It won't last forever, so I'm trying to stay hopeful and stay positive. Uh, one thing that is unfortunate though is one of them is a cash only business, so traditionally it does pretty darn well. And during these times, a lot of people are taking out uh, cash right now. They don't want to leave cash in the bank. They want to have cash on hand. And, uh, and I think that ATM would have done awesome during this whole coronavirus thing. With a bar, a billiards hall, unfortunately, uh, it's not essential or it's labeled non-essential. So it's making zero money. Especially being here in Texas with the coronavirus flying around, 
six feet or 12 feet, whatever you want to call it. It's flying around all over the place, wrecking the economy, killing people. One thing obviously has been proven is we like to drink a lot. And I do think the uh, the sports bar and nightclubs would have done awesome because of that. It's non-essential, so it's not making money. However, for you people looking to get into the business or looking for a new location to land, liquor stores here in Texas are deemed essential businesses, which is crazy to kind of think about. We do rank, I guess, the highest in alcohol consumption during these coronavirus times, which is a little crazy. I know myself, uh, Susie, your sister, uh, have definitely put down several cases of beer and alcohol. Uh, so we're aiding into that, into the number of Texas loving their alcohol. Um, but heck, what, what else can you really do during these times to try and relax and unwind? And one way is drinking. Since liquor stores are deemed essential here in Texas, I would highly recommend if you do live in Texas or if your state does deem alcohol as essential, try and find a location that needs an ATM and slap one in there. If you have an ATM just laying around, throw it in a liquor store. It may not make, you know, 100 transactions uh, the first month, but every transaction is better than no transaction. Having one transaction a month is way better than having zero. So just keep that in mind. Now, I'm sure you guys know another essential business that is open is supermarkets, grocery stores. Everybody's got to eat. Everybody has to wipe their ass with all that toilet paper that's flying off the shelves. And our frontline workers are definitely helping with that. So thank you guys for making sure those, those shelves are stocked during these crazy times. If you have an ATM laying around, try and find a grocery store. Find a supermarket that may need an ATM. Because it is getting foot traffic right now and does get foot traffic year-round, no matter if Corona is around or not, uh, an ATM in a supermarket or grocery store would be an awesome uh, location for you to land. So if you can, do it. You know, with people out there panic buying, uh, buying up all of the, uh, the bread and the milk and the toilet paper and the meats, they're also going to run through the ATM because they are panic buying. They don't want to leave that cash in the bank. They want it now, now, now. And if they see your ATM in a supermarket or a grocery store, I think they would definitely take some cash out. Now, my traditional nine to five job is uh, I'm a general manager at two hotels. And it's been a little crazy. It's been hectic uh, for the hospitality industry, as I'm sure you can imagine. In fact, uh, I did have an ATM in one of my hotels that did okay, um, but now, because of coronavirus, we did have to temporarily close the hotel because there's nobody traveling. Um, so what did I do? I moved that ATM from one of my hotels and rolled it on next door to the hotel that is staying open. But like I said, one transaction is better than zero transactions. And what do you know? It actually is doing now three to four transactions a day for me which I think is pretty cool at the, uh, at the hotel that I run that is staying open. So I will definitely take that. Honestly, hotels are an awesome place to place an ATM if you can land it and if it's smart. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going after, you know, a 20 room motel. I would go after, you know, a location with 100 plus rooms is a good start and a place with, a, with some convention space. Uh, where they do hold conventions that you know have different vendors in and out of the hotel selling things and an ATM is pretty important for that. People will take money out uh, to enter a convention or buy something from a kiosk booth at, at one of the hotels. Uh, so it's just something to think about. Um, because the hotels are dead right now, it may be difficult to find a location to place it, but try. Uh, it does not hurt to try. It takes a, you know, a couple feet in the door of a hotel. Um, try and ask for a manager. Try and land a good hotel for you, which may be quote unquote crummy right now. It, but you can't think about right now with the coronavirus. You have to think in advance. Think you know a month from now, two months, six months from now, that hotel will be booming again, which I'm very hopeful for. And if you have an ATM in there starting today, until it starts booming, you're gonna be all ready for when it does blow up. We do have two laundromats uh, that are doing pretty decent right now. 
the transactions have lowered than what it usually makes, but it's still making some, and it's actually making some pretty decent returns. Um, anywhere from you know four to eight, I guess, transactions a day, which I will take that all day, every day. It's still getting some foot traffic in and out of there. And one way to fight this whole coronavirus thing is being hygienic, having clean clothes. And the best way to clean your clothes is to do your laundry. But not everybody has a laundry room they can go to or has a washer and dryer in their house. So they have to go to a laundromat and that's where the ATM comes in. People will you know, take out 20 to $40 on average at the laundromat, which is really good because it means you don't have to go to the laundromat as often to fill up. And they take out that 20 to $40 and get quarters with it. Um, so they can do laundry. It's allowing that person easy access to do laundry and it's also helping out the laundromat owners because they're able to capitalize on people using the laundry machines, which is a win-win. And then it's a win for us too because we're making that surcharge amount. So if you can, try and spot a laundromat uh, that is in need of an ATM and get one installed there. And honestly, not every laundromat is going to do well. Some laundromats are only taking credit cards where you can, you know, you buy a pass or something to where you can... Uh, pay with with the pass um, so those probably aren't going to be a very good laundromat for you to put but coin operated laundromats the old school ones there's a ton of them around still and that's where I would hit that's where I would target if I were you trying to get into the business now this week people have been getting their stimulus checks their coronavirus stimulus checks their payments which is awesome I hope you got some too uh, I think it's really going to help out the economy and what are people doing? They're going to the ATMs in our laundry mats, oddly enough, and clearing them out. They're trying to take out all that cash as much as they can uh, because they want cash on hand, not in the banks. Some people are afraid the government is going to go back and take that money back from their bank account. So they're trying to empty their bank accounts using our ATMs. In fact, just yesterday in the laundry mats, which in my eyes is winning. I will take $100 for sure. Use my ATMs. We may have to go fill it up, but it's helping us out and it's helping out the economy. I can't be too mad at that, right? Now, another essential business uh, is gas stations right now. People do have to still get around uh, to their essential jobs or to the, the grocery stores or to the laundromats. So if you can find a gas station, get an ATM installed in there now. We unfortunately don't have an ATM and a gas station yet, but it's something that I definitely want to do and I'm, and I'm searching for one to place. Uh, gas stations traditionally do very, very well with ATMs and if I can find one, I'm definitely placing an ATM in there. Something to think about too is there is a lot of ATM owners out there that pulled their machines because of the coronavirus. They knew it wouldn't get any transactions or very little transactions. So the ATM is going to be safer at home or in a storage unit than at an empty store or a very slow store. This is perfect for you guys to capitalize on that. Go find a location where an owner, where an ATM owner previously had an ATM and took it out and try and take that location from them. Honestly, ATMs do help out the business owners too. The business owners make money off of the ATM being there. Say a gas station, as people are pulling money out, people are gonna use that cash to buy a soda or to buy a candy or to buy gas. So if you can get an ATM in a location where somebody previously had an ATM installed and took it out, put your ATM in there. Honestly, it may not make a ton of money right now, the money that you need right now, but don't think about the right now. Think about the future. Think about a couple months from now when the economy is doing better. Heck, maybe it'll take a year for the economy to fully bounce back, to fully recover. If you have an ATM in there, you've gotten a good rapport with that business owner. They know, oh, he's not going to take his ATM out and leave me high and dry, that's perfect for you. You're gonna have a better chance of keeping that ATM for years and years to come, and those years will add up a lot, especially if it's a gas station. So try and find a location that is lacking an ATM that previously had one, and get your ATMs in there. 
That honestly is one thing about uh, owning a business. If you want to prosper, if you want to grow financially with your business, you have to take risks, uh, logical risks, obviously, but you have to take some risks. So if you can go out and find a location now, it will be way better for your future, for your success as a business owner, because you're thinking of the future. You've always got to think about the future when running a business. Now, obviously, I want to be a millionaire tomorrow. I do. But realistically, I know that's not possible. But I do know in a couple years, if I keep hustling, if I keep grinding, if I keep taking smart and logical risks, then I can be a millionaire. And I will be. I've been saying it for years and years and years. I want to be a millionaire at 35. And I keep pushing it because I know it's possible. And I'm thinking of the future a couple years down the road, a couple months down the road, not just the now. So think about the future. Think about what the possibilities can be. You may be taking a risk. The risk to reward, in my opinion, is well worth it. Now, in today's time, I know it is very, very difficult to think a couple months down the road or a couple years down the road. Things are changing so much day to day, it's hard to think positive, but you have to. When things get back to normal, which they will, life is not going to get put on hold so you can get all your ducks in a row. So get your ducks in a row during these tough times while you have extra time to spend because maybe you're furloughed. Maybe you're not working as much right now. Use that time now to get your ducks in a row so you can better yourself and advance for the future. Now, there's been a couple of things that have happened recently uh, in our business ventures that have been a little financially costly. And I actually wanted to do a video on those things with you, kind of show you guys what I go through, what we go through, my wife and I, on this entrepreneurial journey. Look out for that video here shortly, okay? I honestly know it's hard, it's really difficult to stay positive, but you have to for your sanity and maybe your family's sanity. Uh, So stay positive, keep going, Enjoy the day, but keep grinding like it's Monday, okay? Keep going like this whole coronavirus thing isn't happening. Do what you can to better yourself for tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.